Hello guys. Welcome to another video. Since the last couple of days I started learning animation in Blender, I actually find it really interesting. So I tried to make a another horror kind of animation that is not actually horror, but here it is. As most of the people don't really have great computers or laptop with good specs, so it's really difficult to create an animation using normal specs. But here's the catch. You can actually make these animations with decent laptop or computer. Let me show you in this video. Let's get started. Link to the models will be in the description. So firstly, we need to create a simple room. Import the model. Set them up in the desired area of the room. To make the walls white, just use the Blender Kit add-in and search white paint. I added a plane and used the water texture on it from the Blender Kit to give a little bit of reflection back. You can also increase the metallic in Principal BSDF. Use the area light to highlight the specific areas where you want to move your camera and to give it more a filmic look Set up a cube with volume scatter node. Now here comes the main part. Once you have done with the lighting and all other stuff, now place the camera where you want to start the video Go to the timeline, set it on zero. As an example, I'm using 100 frames only. So if you have a decent PC, or just try using short frames, and once they are all rendered, use other software like CapCut or Adobe Premiere Pro to combine them all. Now press I button on the keypad. You will see a lot of options. Now for this video, we are going to just change the location and rotation of the camera so I will select the rotation and location if you want to experiment. You can try other options also. Once you select it, the Blender itself will create the keyframe. Now go to the last frame like for this animation. It is 100. Change the camera location and rotation. I mean how you want the video to be ended. Once you are done with this, press I again and select the location and rotation again. The Blender will again create an end keyframe. There you go. I also used Camera Shakeify for camera movement. It's paid add-in, but really worth it. Like this, you can choose different different areas and create short clips. And afterwards combine them, it is time consuming. But if you have a low end or decent PC, it would really help. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe my channel. And if you created any art inspired from this video, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. See you in the next video.